probate and estate administration? Yeah, that's the basis really. Uh, probate just means the proving of a will. So when someone's passed away, it has to go through certain uh, checks and processes really to make sure that the probate courts can issue a, a grant of probate to say that this was the person's will, it was signed correctly and witnessed correctly, it was their intent, they did it of their own free will and of sound mind. And, and the executors in the will, they're the people who carry out the wishes of the will. They, uh, they see that through and then collect in all the assets of the estate. They pay any debts on the estate and then they distribute any gifts within that estate. Uh, and then whatever's left is called the residue and that will go to the residuary beneficiaries. So that could be typically if it was husband and wife to each other, then on to the children and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and and it, it's important that it's done correctly because you, you do get people who feel they can do this themselves, and some can. If it's a simple estate, great. But what if there's other things in there like uh, overseas properties, business interests, mm -hmm. life interests? You know, all of a sudden, it's starting to get a little bit complicated. And again, as I alluded to earlier, it's probably better to go and just seek professional advice and, and get that. I would say that, wouldn't I, obviously. <laughs> but sometimes we get clients who come in and they say, you know, sadly, you know, my father's passed away. Can you help with this? And we'll just look at it and say, look, this is quite straightforward you can go and do that yourself. And that saves them a lot of money. So we'll always be honest, always be transparent. Mm -hmm. But that wins us clients because they then come back and do their own estate planning because so, yeah, yeah. they know they can trust us, you know, and that's really important. So it's just the, the process of, of closing someone's estate, really, yeah. and then making sure the appropriate beneficiaries get what they uh, were entitled to. Yeah, 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 yeah got it. Okay. Um, and you've just mentioned there sort of simple and not simple estates, and you kind of already touched on, I guess, what are less simple estate would be. What, what's the definition of that? A simple estate would actually be owning a house or having a bit of money in the bank versus, as you say, overseas properties and investments. What's, yeah, yeah. Can you just define the two in, in, in a nutshell? Uh, I, I think a simple case would be, uh, say, uh, say a, a mum has passed away and, and she's elderly, husband passed away years ago. Uh, the house is in her sole name. The estate in total is worth less than 325000 because that's the IHT, sorry, inheritance tax threshold. Uh, and it's all going to, say, one son or, or, or a son and a daughter. And that's that's relatively straightforward. Yeah. There's there's nothing really uh, screaming at you saying, oh, there's, there's something going on here. And uh, they can process it themselves, you know, relatively easy. It, it takes a long time now because obviously the probate courts are still far behind because of COVID, you know. And, are they? And it's, you know, it's at least sort of six to nine months, uh, in some cases, 12 months. What takes. happens to all the stuff? It just sort of sits there, really, you know, especially if it's investments or property. I mean, you know, we'd always encourage people to get, if they're going to sell the property, get it on the market at least, get it up to scratch and, and then, you know, market it. Yeah. Uh, but we still got to wait for the grant ultimately before it can be signed over. Right. Uh, so, uh, again, it's it's it's... It's a thoughtful thing that someone's done to try and tidy up their own affairs so it's not a burden for, for someone. And you can do all that without a will. You know, you can die what they call intestate. So there's no will, but then you follow the laws of the land. And that always doesn't uh, make sense because even if you're a husband and wife, you don't automatically get everything from the, the other partner's estate. 